What's up guys? So today we are going to be customizing some Christmas stockings. Um, and this is such a fun project to do because you can really customize it however you like. And there's so many different fonts that you can play with. Um, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using and the measurements that I am using. Uh, and then we will go through how we're going to iron this on our actual stocking. All right. So um, what I did was I customized them with names of my family members uh, and the best way to do that is to grab the text tool here and you can type in a name so I'm going to use my dog his name is Kobe let's drag that up there and then the font that I will be using today is called Lovina October 5 here we go so go ahead and select that and as always Cricut um, defaults by leaving spaces in between the letters so we need to make an adjustment for that since this is a script font I do negative 0.5 and that usually allows the them to touch quite well and then sometimes I need to make further adjustments but negative 0.5 seems to work very well for this font which is awesome um, next I'm going to make it bigger so you don't want to go more than seven inches across Okay, I've taken measurements of a few different stockings. That seems to be the standard size space that you're going to be working with here. So I'm going to make it probably around there. This is pretty big on the actual stocking itself. Um, but yeah, you can you can play with around with that. So this is how big I'm going to be making it. And, uh, and yeah, one more thing we're going to have to do before we can go ahead and cut this out is we are going to need to weld everything together. Um, and I actually realized that they're not touching the way I like. That's a little bit better. Um, and the reason why we need to weld it is because if we do not, it will cut out each letter individually, which is not what we're looking for. We are looking for one word, which is the name cut out in one piece. So go ahead and weld that and you should see the weld result here. And there's just the one name. Okay, now the other thing that I've done for you is I have, I have made all these little paw prints, okay? So if you have a little dog like me, actually my dog's not little, he's pretty big, but <laughs> if you have a dog like me or if you have a cat, um, these would also work very well. And they have already been pretty much sized for you and they're pretty much ready to go. Um, the only thing we need to do with the paw prints is to do the same thing, just grab the group there and weld it. Otherwise, it is going to rearrange the pieces around in a way that we don't want them cut out. We, we want each paw cut out as one piece, right? Not like eight fingers and the the, the paw. <laughs> um, anyways, so go ahead and weld that. And now we have our two pieces. Now, my name is actually going to be cut out in white. And my paws are going to be cut out in red. And it's just a very good habit to um, always flag what colors you're using. So it's also good for you to remember what you're loading, but it's also great because then Cricut will try to organize things in a way that it will cut the same color on one mat. So you can save, uh, save some material there. All right, so let's go ahead and make this. And when you hit that button, you should see two mats here, one for the name and one for the paw prints. Um, one other trick you could do is that if you wanted them on the same mat, you could make them the same color and then you can drag or drag this around. So you could have the paw prints all over here and you can drag the name at the bottom. And then you just have to remember that when you cut your, your vinyl to, um, to, to put on the mat, that that's where you've placed it. Um, and one other thing that we do need to do is for this name, because we are ironing on, so whenever you use iron on or heat transfer vinyl, you want to mirror your text. Okay. This one doesn't matter too much because it's the same on either side. So we don't need to, we don't need to mirror that one, but this one we need to mirror, um, because the iron on is actually on like the back side. So it's going to cut it out and then we're going to stick it on. All right. So go ahead and cut this out. I just cut this out on. Um, you can you can start do a search. So I did a, a search for heat transfer vinyl and uh, and cut that out. If you're on the Explorer Air two, then I believe it is just the the vinyl setting on the dial. Um, yeah. So let's cut that out, and I will show you how we're going to put this on. All right. So this is a Christmas stocking that I am using. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, um, and it's a make your own stocking. It has like this 
I don't know, this iron on, I guess, in this package, but it's not that nice. <laughs> and there's this little glitter thing. So take all the packaging off and it comes with like a cardboard piece inside. So make sure you remove that too. Now I've been keeping this for like arts and crafts with my daughter because it's kind of fun. She can make her own little paper stocking. And then same thing with like the little glitter the glue. It's just for her to play. All right, so I've already gone out and um, cut out everything, but I do want to mention and remind you that when you are putting the heat transfer vinyl on the mat, it needs to go shiny side down. So there is a shiny side, see that? And that needs to go face down, okay? Cricut will remind you uh, when you go, go ahead with this and you select heat transfer vinyl as what you're cutting. Um, so make sure you mirror your image and that you put this face down when you go to cut it. Now, I know I said in the video that I had my text in white and my paws in red, but I kind of got them mixed up in the video. So it actually was supposed to be my text in red and then my paws in white. So that's what I've actually done. And <laughs> just so just so you're wondering, and you're like, why didn't she do it in, in white? That's why, because I got my colors mixed up. All right. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut out each of these paws and then kind of rearrange them on my stocking so I know what it looks like, okay? So now I am going to grab my Cricut Easy Press. Okay, I have the nine by nine. Um, use whatever you have. If you have an iron, you can do that as well. Now, I did head over to the Cricut Heat Guide web, the Heat Guide on their website um, and took a look at what they have there. And I, on my test stocking when I tried that, I had a bit big problem with the red actually bleeding through onto the white. So um, I'm not going to be using the settings that they've indicated on the website. I'm going to be low, using a lower temperature to start um, to get that heat transfer vinyl on because I don't want that bleed. And one other thing I always do is I always use parchment paper on top of these, even though this does have a carrier paper already. I always just have that extra protection. Okay, so I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna start at a lower temperature, probably around 220. All right, so it looks like the magic number is 250 for 30 seconds. Okay, and once it is cool, you can take off that sheet, the protection sheet, and you should be good to go. So I did do a double pass on everything after I took off the sheet. So I put my, 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 paper, my parchment paper on, and then I did another go through just to make sure everything sticks. And now it is looking great. I'm not afraid of anything um, peeling off. I've tried. <laughs> so I'm really happy how that turned out. Um, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. So I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next time. Bye.